Welcome to the People Connect Podcast. Your network is your net worth. Are you ready to take your life to the next level? Be prepared to leap out of your comfort zone and connect with the who's who of what you want to do. Stop, drop, and roll as we start, market, and grow the CEO of you and your host, Nichelle Womack. She will help you engage, reinvent, motivate, and reactivate your plans for success. You welcome and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is Nichelle Womack and I am the startup CEO, helping you to start market grow and profit in your own enterprise as the CEO of you by providing you with information, inspiration, and motivation. That's what I do to help you excel to that next level. So I am coming on today to share share with you when is it time to buy your first piece of property, your first home, your first investment property, or whatever it may be, but particularly your first home. As a licensed real estate broker, I've been in the business of real estate for about 25 years as a licensed real estate broker for about 16 years. And in that time, this is the first question that I get from everybody that is interested in buying a home. When is the right time? And so I'm often sharing this information with first time home buyers and amongst um, college graduates, people that have never owned a home before. Hello, Jack. How are you? People that have never owned a home before and people that are um, interested in uh, purchasing their first home. So these are the questions that I get often and I want to address them with you today. So when is it time to buy your first home? The first thing I want to share with you when you are financially able to afford it. Yes, just because you can rent a house or rent an apartment or whatnot does not necessarily mean you can afford a home. The reason being is because when you buy a home, you have a lot more expenses that is encumbered in the not only the mortgage, but in the cost of living there. Typically, when I'm selling a home, something always happens within that first year of the person owning the home. And I always ask for a home warranty for my clients because I know that. But things always happen. The water heater may go out. The furnace, um, the furnace may go out. The air conditioning, the roof may leak or the plumbing. Something always happens within that first year. So you want to be prepared financially. So when is the right time to buy? When you can financially afford it. You also have to think of taxes that are included in that. You have to also think about the uh, utilities that you have in your new living place that are going to be included in that. And then just your daily living expenses, food, uh, gas, and things of that nature. So when you can financially afford a home, that's when it's time to buy. The second point that I always share with my clients when you have stable and consistent income. You know, a lot of times people shift from job to job. That's not the perfect time to buy a house. The reason being your income isn't consistent. And if you are getting a mortgage loan, they're going to see that and they probably will not give you the loan. They typically look for at least two to four years of stable, consistent income in the same field before they lend to buy a home. So keep that in mind. If you are thinking about buying one, then you definitely want to make sure that you are on your job for at least two to four years so that when the lender goes to look to see that, that that they can see you have some consistency in your living habits. Okay. So that's number two. Number three, when is the right time to buy a home? When interest rates are low. Right now they're about 4%. And, um, you know, I work a variety of different clients. Some have excellent credit, some have mediocre, some have bad. (laughs) So honestly speaking, when you are thinking about getting a home or deciding to get one, make sure you check your credit and get your credit up to par because if your credit is bad, more than likely you're going to have a high interest rate. What is considered bad credit? If it's not um, about 680 and above, 680 and above, not that you can't get anything less or with less credit than that because you can but the fact of the matter is you're going to probably have a a higher interest rate and so when you have a higher interest rate your mortgage payment is going to be higher and you want to make sure that you um, uh, look at your budget for that to happen so I always recommend to my clients if you know that your credit is not good let's work on getting your credit better so that you can get a better rate because a better rate means that you'll be able to afford the mortgage obviously and that it will be easier on your budget okay nobody likes to pay a high interest rate i think the highest interest rate that i've ever seen in this time right now is about 10 percent 
because there's different facets of loans that you can get and typically the different facets of loans have a higher interest rate now if you go in fha that's a great program to go into because it's anywhere from about three to five percent is what i'm seeing with interest rates and that is a great program for first-time home buyers and then the stipulations are not as strict as they are with a conventional or a balloon payment and all that kind of stuff i mean there's so many different loan programs out there first-time home buyers typically fall under the fha if they qualify bottom line you have to qualify so number three when interest rates are low that is the best time to buy a home refinance on a home buy investments if you're thinking about buying investments with loans that is the perfect time to buy number four when is the right time to buy that I share with my clients all the time when you are in a secure living area when you know that you're gonna be in that area with at least seven years at least seven years and the reason why is because if you thinking of, if you're thinking about buying a home and you're planning on moving um, anywhere from five to seven years you really won't get a reaping of your investment now typically it takes about 10 to 14 sometimes 15 years well, seven to 10 to 15 years before you start to see your mortgage payment kind of um, have an effect on what you owe. But if you're just going to be there five to seven years in the locale that you're in, I typically don't recommend people buy unless you have a st strategic means in mind. Like if you're buying to rehab to sell later on, that's a different avenue right there that you will walk. But if you're thinking about buying your dream home, quote unquote, or if you're thinking about buying a home that you're going to stay there for quite some time, if you're not going to stay in that same location, that same city or state it may not be a great time to buy buy where you're going to go next so that's what I recommend to my clients because you literally when you sell your home you want to get some type of investment back and if you move in five to seven years you're typically not going to get much back unless the market escalates and we know in real estate it changes daily so it can be one thing today and, and next week it can be something totally different so keep that in mind when you're thinking about buying and selling your home the next one, when is the right time to buy? When you are sick and tired of paying your landlord's mortgage. <laughs> yes, that is so true. When you are sick and tired of paying your landlord's mortgage, that's when a great time is to buy. Um, you know, I speak to my clients all the time and I work with renters. And that's one thing that I mentioned to them. You know that you are making your landlord rich. Now, I am a landlord, so I love my renters, but I do teach them about home ownership. I teach them about different phases, different steps of becoming a homeowner because because I want them to own as well. You know, this is your time to move forward and, and give this house to somebody that's just beginning, just graduating, that want to get into the home ownership aspect. So when you are sick and tired of paying your landlord's mortgage payment and them reaping the benefits and you getting none, that's when it's time to buy. I hope these tips have helped you. I am a licensed real estate broker. As I mentioned, I've been a licensed real estate broker about 16 years in the business of real estate for about 25 years. This was the first business I started when I started my journey as an entrepreneur. And I help other new and existing entrepreneurs to start, market, grow, and expand and dominate. I do that in the areas of real estate and in business. As a small business consultant, certified life and business coach, I help those clients that are seeking to elevate in their life to the next level in real estate and in business. I've been a business owner for 25 years as well. As I mentioned, real estate was my first business that I started. And from there, I just trickled down and started doing other things and started adding other things to my portfolio and growing from there. So I do the th same thing by helping other people do what I've done, what I've learned, teaching them things that I've done that I failed in that you can concede in, succeed in so you don't have to walk that same path that we walked when we first started our business. So my name is Nichelle Womack and I typically come on regularly, depends on what my life looks like. I'm also a doctoral candidate working on a PhD in human behavior and psychology. So I spend a lot of my time writing dissertations and things of that nature so I can complete this PhD so you can address me as Dr. Nichelle. <laughs> yes, I don't work hard for that. So look, I'm looking forward to that. But I'm also on Instagram at Nichelle Womack. If you like positive inspiration and motivation on a regular basis, connect with me there. And like I said, I'm here. If you're not connected with me here, connect with me. Click the link in my bio to excel with Nichelle. And you can get all the little goodies and gifts that I have available 
for new and existing entrepreneurs. So thanks again for tuning in. If this broadcast was beneficial for you, don't be stingy. Share it with other people as well, especially those that are interested in buying a home and have that same question, when is the right time to buy? I'm Nichelle signing off for now. Also, I forgot to mention, if you like podcasts, check out the People Connect podcast where I upload original information, inspiration, and motivation to help push you out of your comfort zone and into the gifts that God has blessed you with. Make it a prosperous evening, a prosperous week, an amazing month of August, new. Remember the number eight, God's gift to you for new, a new way of living, a new way of prospering, and a new way of being a better you. Take care. Blessings and peace. Until next time. Bye-bye.